Right now I got this table and this lady, she came in, I mean, just boozy. I mean, she had the little skunk of rodent around her neck and everything. I was taking care of them, giving them everything that they need, and they were just stared at me. But when I asked them if they needed something, they were like, no, we fine, thank you. What you looking at me for then? It's like common knowledge that if you're staring at your server, then you need something. But you're just staring, just to be staring. Well, they just hated me for some reason. And then want to pay for $200 or something dollars worth of food with some gift cards. I mean, these people like flicking them out like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like I'm a stripper stripping on the grill. And so I'm still smiling, trying to be polite. And would you guys like some to-go boxes? The lady is like, mm, yes, I want a to-go box. So I bring her the to-go box. And she's looking at the to-go box like I threw a dead rat. I said, ma'am, is there a problem? Aren't you going to put my food in my box? I said, would you like me to? And she goes, good server would put my food in my to-go box. Her husband or boyfriend, whatever he was, sitting over there like... <laughs> yeah, she must not want to get this money. And I'm just so lost. I mean, I have like no idea what is going on. There are people sitting at the table that aren't even with her that hate me now. And this is one of those days where I couldn't even have my internal monologue to be funny and make it better. <laughs> so at this point, I'm hysterical because of the confusion. Lady, lady, go eat a hot, hot curling iron. You have confused me beyond confusion, and I will no longer stand for it. <laughs> but of course, I can't say that because I was at work. I was about to lose my though. Apparently they couldn't count or something. They owed a balance of like four dollars when I told them that they're like, no, you owe us four dollars. I didn't even say anything because I'm so lost and confused as to why these people hate me. I just give it all to the manager and just, no. The manager over there looking like, what? Oh, what? I, I really, I really don't want to deal with this today. <laughs> You get over there because she's stressing me out. Now I look like a man in his golden years. The moral of the story is, if I were the type, I could have killed you. So simply, I mean, I'm giving you something that you're ingesting. Food. I could have, you could have died. Tonight, you could have been gone. You could have been carried out of here in a black day. But I let you live. Your bougie self. <laughs>